Step into the legal drama of the late 80s with a television series that had everyone talking a show that brought humor, shock, and sadness to the forefront. Remember that classic Hollywood actor you couldn't get enough of? Well, they've got a role worth revisiting in this timeless series. Who was your favorite among the many characters in this legal roller coaster? L.A. Lore, with its blend of courtroom battles and personal dramas, offered a cast of characters that left a lasting impression. So, which role stands out in your memory? The courtroom? The law firm's corridors? The intense negotiations? Share your favorite in the comments below. As you binge watch, get ready for the unexpected funny, shocking, and sometimes heart-wrenching facts that will keep you glued to the screen. And here's a heads up, more surprises are coming your way, so keep those eyes peeled. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? We're eager to hear your stories, so drop them in the comments and let's reminisce together. Don't miss out on the chance to connect with fellow fans who share your love for L.A. lore. Funny, shocking, and sad, this series has it all. Ready to dive in? Your favorite Hollywood actor and character await your rediscovery. Let the binge watching begin. Set in the lively late 80s era, the TV series L.A. Lore made a splash with its unique mix of courtroom battles and personal dramas. The show not only grabbed viewers with its humor, shock, and sadness, but also left a lasting impression on popular culture. As people tuned in, they enjoyed a cast of characters that showcased the versatility of classic Hollywood actors, with each role staying in the memory of fans. The show's influence wasn't limited to the small screen. It sparked a cultural phenomenon, leading to discussions about legal battles and the complexities of personal relationships within a law firm. The courtroom turned into a stage for performances, and the firm's corridors saw the dynamics of legal negotiations. Beyond its initial reception, L.A., Lore's impact extended to various aspects of entertainment. Spin-offs emerged, exploring different aspects of legal storytelling, keeping the essence alive for fans wanting more. The series became a catalyst for a range of merchandise, allowing enthusiasts to carry a piece of its world into their everyday lives. Adaptations inspired by the show's success further solidified its place. Other productions aimed to replicate the engaging mix of humor, shock, and sadness that defined L.A. lore. The series' influence resonated across the entertainment landscape, proving that its impact wasn't confined to a specific genre or medium. As fans reminisce about their favorite Hollywood actors and characters, the show continues to be a cultural touchstone. Its enduring resonance is a testament to its ability to transcend its time, leaving a mark on popular culture. Whether through intense negotiations in the law firm or riveting moments within the courtroom, the series painted a vivid picture that remains in the collective memory of its audience. In conclusion, L.A., Laura's influence and lasting impression extend far beyond its initial airing. It has become part of popular culture, leaving an unforgettable mark cherished by fans and influencing subsequent generations of legal dramas. In the lively cultural scene of the 1950s, various societal changes and historical events paved the way for the emergence of the 1986 TV series L.A. Lore. This era, shaped by post-World War II recovery and the start of the Cold War, saw significant shifts in American values, fashion, and perspectives. The 1950s were marked by a noticeable tension between fitting in and rebelling. The country experienced an economic boom, leading to a rise in suburban lifestyles and traditional family values. However, the civil rights movement challenged racial segregation and countercultural movements questioned societal norms. These diverse dynamics set the stage for the varied storytelling that L.A. lore would later bring to television screens. Echoes of McCarthyism, with its strong anti-communist sentiments and the pervasive influence of Hollywood's golden age, resonated throughout the decade. Against this backdrop, the series' exploration of legal battles and personal dramas gained significance. The courtroom became a microcosm reflecting societal conflicts, mirroring the struggles for justice and equality that defined the era. Additionally, the show drew inspiration from the changing role of women in the workforce during the 1950s. As women increasingly entered professional spheres challenging gender norms, L.A. Lore portrayed the complexities of gender dynamics within the law firm. This nuanced reflection of societal changes added depth to the characters and their relationships, making the show relatable to audiences navigating their own shifting cultural landscape. 
The influence of the 1950s extended beyond thematic elements to the very structure of the show. The classic Hollywood actors in L.A. lore brought with them a sense of nostalgia, connecting viewers to the cinematic styles of the past. The series cleverly intertwined the charm of the 50s with the complexities of the 80s, creating a timeless quality that captivated audiences. In essence, L.A. lore harnessed the cultural and historical undercurrents of the 1950s to craft a narrative that resonated with the diverse experiences of its viewers. The show, influenced by the social, political, and cultural shifts of that era, became a mirror reflecting the complexities of the human condition against a backdrop of legal battles and personal dramas. In a groundbreaking moment during its fifth season in early 1991, L.A. lore stirred controversy by featuring a kiss between two female characters, Abby and the newcomer C.J. This marked the first instance of such a moment in a primetime American series, making it a significant milestone in television history. After the cancellation of his series Civil Wars, William M. Finkelstein assumed the role of executive producer for L.A. lore. Notably, he brought two characters from Civil War's attorney Eli Levinson and his secretary, Denise Ianello, seamlessly into the dynamic legal landscape of L.A. lore, enriching the series with fresh narratives. Adding a personal touch to the behind-the-scenes connections, Alan Ratchins, a key figure in the series, happens to be the brother-in-law of Stephen Bochco. Ratchins, married to Bochco's elder sister Joanna Frank since 1978, further intertwines familial bonds within the creative elements of the show. These pivotal moments and connections not only highlight the series' progressive stance, but also showcase the fluidity and adaptability of its narrative structure. L.A. lore continues to be remembered not just for its on-screen impact, but also for its ability to embrace change and introduce characters that seamlessly integrate into its evolving storyline. Amid the legal turmoil of the late 80s, L.A. lore unfolded a unique narrative that resonated beyond the courtroom. The ensemble cast featured two married couples, adding a touch of reality as Ann Kelsey and Stuart Markowitz, along with Douglas and Sheila Brackman, brought their off-screen relationships into the on-screen legal drama. In a recent interview, the show's head writer, David E. Kelly, revealed the poignant decision to bid farewell to Rosalind Chase. Kelly, leaving the show himself, expressed deep affection for the character, choosing to protect her story rather than leave it to another writer's hand. Kelly's critical view of how L.A. lore portrayed the legal world led him to create the practice, a grittier response to what he considered an unrealistic glamorization of law and idealization of lawyers. This evolution showcased Kelly's commitment to crafting stories that reflected a more authentic portrayal of legal proceedings. In its fifth season in 1991, the show made television history by featuring a groundbreaking kiss between two female characters, Abby and newcomer C.J. This milestone, a first for primetime American series, underscored its progressive stance. William M. Finkelstein, taking the reins as executive producer after the cancellation of his series Civil Wars, seamlessly integrated characters Ellie Levinson and Denise Ianello into the L.A. lore landscape. This not only enriched the series with fresh narratives, but also demonstrated its adaptability to change. Adding a familial layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics, Alan Ratchins, a key figure in the series, is the brother-in-law of Stephen Bochco, the creator of L.A. Lore. This interweaving of family bonds into the creative fabric of the show exemplified its ability to embrace connections both on and off-screen. In reflection, the show's influence extends beyond legal battles and personal dramas. It shows its ability to evolve, embrace change, and portray the complexities of human relationships within the legal realm.